with what I have. So, uh, hi everyone, my name is Greg Ackerman and my presentation is on why I'm, does a key map performance run differential. Uh, this is a research project that was completed with the Syracuse University Baseball Statistics and Sabermetrics Club. So before I get started, um, I would like to talk briefly about the SU Sabermetrics Club and uh, some of it got cut off here, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm the vice president of the club and we meet weekly to talk about uh, Sabermetrics and the latest baseball news, and we also regularly work on research projects. And um, we are a Saber student group affiliate, and 25 of our members contributed to this research project's data collection since the start of the 2014-15 school year, including Justin Mattingly, Joey Weinberg, Colby Canetta, and Ray Garcia, who in addition to myself are at the conference today. So the basic premise of our study is to explain the difference between actual win percentage and expected win percentage based upon run differential. The expected win percentage is based upon the Pythagorean Pat formula from run differential, which is defined as runs scored plus runs against divided by games, all to the 0.285 power. If a team achieves a run differential, that would, be, would possibly put them into the playoffs. That team would not want to squander it. Also, if a team has a borderline run differential for, that, for the playoffs, this could be the difference between attaining a playoff spot or not. We're not looking at starting pitching and starting lineups. Rather, we are looking at performance of a team's bench, pitching relief, and pitching depth, which I'll go into more detail in later slides. The second part of our study adds managerial decision making to our regression model. This includes pinch hitters used, defensive substitutions, relievers used, and more. Uh, so the next few slides, if they're working, um, show charts of the average of actual minus, ex minus expected win percentage, as well as the standard de deviation of actual minus expected win percentage. These variables were calculated from baseballreference.com. After that, I will go into some team examples of the difference between actual minus expected win percentage, showing the San Francisco Giants, St. Louis Cardinals, New York Yankees, Toronto Blue Jays, and Colorado Rockies. And it's not working. Um, so basically, um, when the results were there, the uh, <laughs> average of actual win percentage um, uh, for the Giants, or the difference has been um, very uh, consistent throughout the years, and uh, it's been they've outperformed the run differential um, during from 2000 to 2013. Uh, the same is with the San Francisco, the St. Louis Cardinals, as well as the New York Yankees, and all three of those teams have had a lot of success over that time span, and. Um, the Toronto Blue Jays and the Colorado Rockies over that same period of time, they haven't enjoyed as much success um, and they've underperformed their run differential. So to measure the bench performance of hitters, we used OPS plus, which is on-base percentage, on-base average plus slugging percentage adjusted for parking league, as well as home runs, stolen bases, and caught stealing. The key here is that we used a weighted average for each team amongst bench hitters only. Um, according to baseball reference. Ultimately, we only include OPS plus in our model because it is the most promising of the bench statistics as the other variables do not add statistical value to the regression model. Uh, to measure relief and depth pitcher performance, we use fielding independent pitching, ERA plus, which is earned run average adjusted for ballpark, as well as strikeout to walk ratio. This is a weighted average based upon innings pitched and we calculated our group of relievers as the closer and the top four used relievers according to baseball reference. And we calculated our group of depth, depth pitchers as the pitchers not included in the starters or relievers categories. After a bunch of different regression model incarnations, I settled upon this one to illustrate the results. Uh, the dependent variable here is actual minus expected win percentage. The independent variables here included our bench OPS plus and a variable amongst FIP, ERA, or strike to walk out ratio, strike out to walk ratio amongst the top five relievers in depth pitching. So here are the results of the regression model, looking at FIP, ERA, and strikeout to walk ratio. Among these results, uh, the only statistically significant result is FIP among the top five relief pitchers. Uh, it is important to note that these are very small numbers because I'm trying to explain a very small number, which is the difference between actual and expected win percentage. Uh, the, vari the variables have expected signs for uh, bench hitter performance, relief pitching, and pitching depth. As I explained just before, the only statistically significant result is for relief pitcher fielding independent pitching. FIP has a negative and sig 
significant impact on actual win percentage minus expected win percentage. So as FIP increases, it has negative impact on the dependent variable, and a team is more likely to underperform its run differential. On the other hand, as FIP decreases, it has a positive impact on the dependent variable, and a team is more likely to outperform its run differential. This makes sense because if you're not pitching well in late innings, you're likely under to underperform your run differential, while if you have good fielding independent pitching amongst your relievers, you're more likely to outperform your run differential. This slide shows the best seasons and worst seasons in terms of outperforming and underperforming run differential. Um, the only place we have a sizable difference between the top 10% and the bottom 10% of seasons is in relief fielding and pitch independent pitching uh, as there is an 8.03% drop off. Some of these slides aren't working again. Um, so next, um, we um, add managerial decisions to our data set. Um, to me measure managerial decisions, we used the Bill James Handbook and attempted to measure the impact of various managerial decisions on the ability to outperform or underperform a team's run differential. The variables we used here were uh, pinch hitters used, pinch runners used, uh, defensive substitutions, relief pitchers, and their innings pitched, uh, stolen bases attempted, sacrifices attempted, and pitch outs ordered. In our second regression, the relief pitchers innings pitched with the addition of, oh, um, so this is our new model and it's just adding the managerial statistics um, and the dependent variable remains the actual minus expected win percentage and um, what we really added here was the pinch hitters, pinch runners, uh, defensive substitutions, relief innings, uh, stolen base attempts, sacrifice attempts, and pitch outs. Um, so here, um, defensive substitutions and uh, pitch outs ordered um, came up as statistically significant. Um, and the defensive substitutions had a positive T value and the pitch outs ordered had a negative T value. So the results show that um, there are two statistically significant managerial, managerial variables. Uh, defensive substitutions uh, have, are positive and significant at the 1% level, and pitch outs ordered are negative and um, they're significant at the 5% level. Um, defensive substitutions, uh, more defensive substitutions used, you have a greater likelihood to outperform the run differential. Um, there are two parts to this. Part is managerial decision making and part is roster flexibility. And um, pitch outs um, ordered, that's a bit trickier. Um, and uh, trying to, having a tough time seeing the results because of the PowerPoint. Um, so, um, yeah, we have a few theories for that. Um, it's, um, so it may, the pitcher might be wasting a pitch, and um, it, and yeah. Um, so uh, relief pitcher innings pitched are negative, but they're not quite statistically significant at, um, um, if they were at the 15% level. And so when we include the managerial statistics, um, the impact of feeling and pitching among relievers is lessened as well, so that's no longer statistically significant. We tried to include one or the other, but nothing came out as quite statistically significant. Um, here is our, uh, some results uh, showing the difference between the top 10 seasons, 10% of the seasons of outperforming run differential and the bottom 10% of the seasons underperforming the run differential. So uh, we see for defensive substitutions, there's a significant difference um, uh, at 38, nearly 38%. And for pitch outs, there's nearly a 20% difference between top 10% of the seasons and bottom 10% of the seasons. And there's not very much of a difference for relievers used. This graph um, shows uh, on the x-axis the defensive substitutions and on the y-axis the actual expected win percentage. And the size of the circles uh, is how many pitch outs were ordered. So we're trying to show here the actual minus expected win percentage on defensive substitutions and pitch outs. So as you look to the right of the graph, a lot of the green circles are smaller as those teams are using a lot less pitch outs. And um, if you look towards the left and the bottom, uh, there's a lot more green circles and those teams are using a lot more um, pitch outs. 
Um, so, um, in conclusion, uh, a lot of the slides weren't working. So, uh, we aim to determine why teams outperform and underperform their run differential. Is it just luck, or are there factors that contribute to its explanation? Uh, without manager data, it appears that relief pitcher performance measured by FIP uh, plays an important role. Uh, with an increase in FIP by relievers, you're more likely to underperform, and decrease in FIP by relievers, you're more likely to outperform your run differential. So with manager data, um, the more defensive substitutions you have, you're more likely to outperform, and the more uh, pitch outs you throw, the more likely uh, you are to underperform your expected run differential. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions or want to see any of the slides that uh, got lost, uh, I'll be around. <laughs>